Let me let that go for a minute. <laughs> So hi everybody, I'm Howard. This is Howard's Retirement Corner. I want to thank Eric Clapton for the lead-in. Um, and, th and today we're going to talk about um, something I actually saw on, a, on another uh, YouTuber's video. Uh, Joe Kuhn did this, and the title of it was, Why Use the 4% Rule on a 60-40 Portfolio When Annuities Are Paying 6%? Be careful. So. The, the title's a little misleading. When he gets into it, he, he's trying to tell his viewers that be careful of understanding what you're looking at, that an annuity paying 6% is different than a portfolio earning 6%, okay? And that's clear, that's pretty simple, I think. Uh, but it, it got me thinking, you know, Joe's not a big fan of uh, annuities. It's not something he's going to do, but I, I started to think about the math involved here and what's really better. If, if, th if those were your choices, if it was a binary choice of A versus B, which is actually better for you? So, you know, we're looking at a individual. Um, again, I've talked about annuities and we're talking about single premium in immediate annuities. You give the insurance company money and they immediately start giving you a check for whatever the amount is, every year for the rest of your life. So we're going to compare that 4%, you know, that's the standard withdrawal rate as you're looking at a 30-year portfolio, a 30, I'm sorry, a 30-year retirement. You can look at 5%, you can look at 3%, you know, whatever, but just for the demonstration's sake, he used 4%, I'm going to use 4%. Um, I'm also going to assume 3.5% inflation, it's slightly higher than what we've seen over the last 100 years or so, but obviously recently it's been higher than that. So that's just the numbers I'm using. Follow my exercise, because this is kind of interesting after I actually did the math. I kind of posted a couple paragraphs to his website. And nobody responded. He didn't respond. So I'm not sure how, <laughs> how I explained it or people were listening or you know reading it and understanding it. So, so here's what we got. You're a single person, you, you're, you're ready to retire, you're you know, 62, 65, whatever age you are, you've got Social Security covering some of your expenses, but now you're exp you've got a million dollar portfolio and you need $40,000 a year out of that. And that's, that's what you're gonna spend. So again, classic million dollar portfolio, we're gonna spend 4% out of that, all right? Now inflation adjusted, these are the dollar amounts you'd have to draw. First year, 40,000. At 3% uh, inflation, the second year would be 41.4, and we've got various amount here, and, and I'll show you why those years are important. And then, of course, out of the annuity, Joe talked about a 6% annuity, so we're going to do 6%. So out of that, if you took that million-dollar portfolio and you just gave it to the insurance company, they're going to give you $60,000 a year for the rest of your life. Now, here, here's the obvious trade-offs. With the portfolio, you do run the risk of running out of money. 4% is somewhat conservative, but because of sequence of return risk, if there's some very bad years and you know you, you experience some very low market returns or losses, you could run out of money. That's, that's the risk. On the other hand, once you give that million dollars to the insurance company, whenever you die, that million dollars is gone. You can die the next year and it's gone. So, you know, my point of view is if, if you've got a loved one to leave that money to, you don't want to do this. However, you can also look at this as maybe that million dollars is 200000 out of your million dollar portfolio and you're just securing a payment stream going on through life that's a little bit more comfortable for you. You keep the 800000 in your portfolio, you draw 4% from that. You get a little boost because you're getting 6% from your uh, annuity. All right, so... What we see here, 60,000 each year. These are the years, one, two, 13, 23, 30, 33. Again, I'll tell you why those are important. So here's, here's kind of the trade-off now. 40,000, you're gonna, you're gonna get that from your portfolio, you're gonna spend it. Instead, you can get 60,000 from an annuity. You spend your 40,000, the difference is 20,000, you got 20,000 extra, and what we're gonna do with that money is we're gonna invest it, we're gonna put it in a portfolio, stocks and bonds, and we're going to assume a 7% return, all right? Again, 
You can play with that number. Different numbers will get you different results. So here's what's happening. Each year, as you look at it, the second year you get 60000 It's only $18,960. So what I did, I'm going to change sides again. So what I did is, as I invested it, I said, okay, I'm going to take that $20,000, invest it at 7%, and over the period to break even, and, and, I'll, and I'll show you where that is here, year 13, you're pulling 60433 out of your portfolio. You're getting 60000 out of your annuity. I'm calling that the break-even year. So if you invested that 20000 over those 13 years, it would grow to $45,044. So same thing with the second year. It's a little less money. It's got a little less time to compound. So you got 38000 So what I did is I took all those years up through year 13, where we have about a break-even on the payment, and I invested that money, and the total invested difference came out to $330,914. So you've lived 13 years. There was no difference between the annuity and your portfolio because you've drawn $60,000, $60,000 roughly, okay? So now, as you go into the years after 13, you're actually getting less from the annuity than you are from your portfolio. So I then took those differences, and year 23 is interesting because this is when we hit break even on how much we've drawn totally. So at this point, it's $1.38 million after 23 years that you've drawn from your portfolio. And it's, it's a very close, it's, it's, it's not exact, but after 23 years, you've, you've, you've drawn about that from your annuity, okay? So now as we go on, again, we're losing money each year. Year 30, and this is, this is why I drew year 30, that, that, that's your typical standard retirement period you're looking at. So year 30, we're now drawing 108475 from our portfolio because of inflation, but we're still only getting 60000 And you see, we're, we're taking out a lot of money here as the years go on. But it's to year 33 before you've spent all this down. All right, so that's your break even. The portfolio and the annuity are equal over the lifetime at year 33. Kind of interesting. So if you retired 65, you're pretty much saying, okay, when I look at this analysis, I got 33 years. I got 33 guarantee years because that's not going to stop paying me that annuity. And I'm not saying, okay, do the annuity because there's differences here when you run different portfolio returns instead of 7%, when you do different um, inflation, but you know, if it's not 3.5%, or if you're drawing more, you know, if you're drawing 5%, it actually looks like the annuity doesn't perform as well and it won't last as long compared if you need 50,000 out of it because what you're getting is 60,000 and it's not as much of a difference. So if that 5% withdrawal rate lasts you 30 years, that's a better decision. But this is just interesting food for thought, and I'm not saying everyone who's single and has no heirs should do this. You may want to do part of it. If you have a family you want to leave money to, you may, may want to leave part of it. Just some interesting food for thought. Tell me what you think about this. Please subscribe, please like, please share, and please comment. Getting a lot of great comments, getting some ideas for new videos. Tell me what you know the things are that you want to talk about. Tell me good, bad, you know, insult me, <laughs> compliment me, whatever it is. The important thing is that we talk and we keep conversations going. We get different points of opinion and it helps us all learn and live better retirements and get to a better retirement. So thanks again and I'll see you later. Bye.